there is an epidemic sweeping the Western world. It's an illness that takes many forms. It can make you sneeze and itch, or it could stop you breathing altogether. I've seen people who have gone from talking to me to collapse within a matter of minutes. 50 years ago, it barely existed. Yet in parts of the Western world, it now affects one third of all adults and almost 40% of children. It is horrible because your eyes puff up and you can't see and then you get really panicky and then you have a lot of panic attacks. This film will take you on a journey to uncover the secrets behind one of the biggest mysteries in modern medicine. I started to have to go on emergency oxygen because I stopped breathing. I'm scared for my children, my grandchildren, and for everybody's children and grandchildren. I'm scared for the future of this planet. From the tropical islands of the Caribbean to the valleys of Wales, from the industrial heartlands of California to the most remote inhabited island in the world, Horizon attempts to find out why we are becoming allergic to our planet. serious um, I don't think you appreciate how serious it could be and you always think of it as, as a reaction that will cause a swelling or will cause uh, vomiting Mike and Sue Obertelli first realized their daughter Kate suffered from allergies when she was two years old we were actually shopping in a supermarket and I gave her a taste of a fruit bar that I bought, a sticky fruit bar from the health food shop. And then immediately her mouth swelled. And we took her to the hospital because she couldn't even suck her dummy, her mouth was that big. Kate was subsequently diagnosed with a severe peanut allergy. Although Kate and her family were extremely vigilant, it proved impossible to avoid peanuts altogether. I got a phone call at 11 o'clock saying she was in an ambulance with no pulse, would we go over? We went to the hospital, they took us through and there was about eight or nine people around her trying to save her life. 